Aidan Curry is my name. Um, I'm a member of our Cree at Ballinasloe Community First Responders. Um, we were set up in 2012, originally in Korea. Uh, we were linked to the ambulance service in 2016. Um, and at that stage we also joined up with uh, Ballinasloe Town and we became uh, Korea Ballinasloe Community First Responders. So we basically were, were all given our, our time free, we're volunteers. Um, and we respond to cardiac arrest. Uh, as I said, we're linked to the ambulance service, so when a 999 or a 112 call comes in, we um, will be notified uh, of, of the cardiac arrest as well, within a six kilometre radius of Crea Church. If we can, we will respond. Um, so, so far since 2016, um, going on from what Aidan said, when they first set up the group, mainly fundraised around the Cree area. There was businesses in the Cree area, I ran a table quiz, and that generated money to be able to put three AEDs out in the Cree side of town. So in 2016, when they linked in with the ambulance service, we brought on the rest of the balance of the town because we felt it was important to give more to the town. Um, so in 2016 onwards, to, since November, we had a very, um, very beneficial table quiz. We raised over 2,500 euro just in the table quiz alone. And the cycle club here in Ballinasloe put on their charity cycle for us and that raised over 2,000 euro as well. And we also had a walking club from town who raised 300 euro. So a lot, all that money goes into the service and upkeep of the ADs and also generates money to be able to retrain new people and keep the skills that the people already have up to date. What does AED stand for? It's Advisory External Defibrillator. It means that, and this is one. So when you take this, they, are, they come in a box, they're awful easy. Anyone can use them. Just turn them on. Press on the on button, or open the lid sometimes it turns off. And it talks you through exactly what to do. So it'll tell you, it'll remind you, have you rang the ambulance? And the whole thing is to ring the ambulance early, you know, one or two. Then it'll tell you to clear the chest so you can take it off close and to put, peel out the pads from the bottom of the device and they're here and there's pictures on the outside and there's pictures on the pads there's pictures here to tell you where to put them you put them on the chest and then everybody stands back and if it's going to shock it if this button will light up and it will tell you press the shock button and it may not light up so it will tell you no shock at last and then it will tell you go back into CPU and there's a button here you press and it actually comes out for to do the CPR we have 11 um, AEDs up around the town, between Korea and town, that are available to us 24 hours a day. Um, we fundraise for, for a lot of them. The post office has helped the Credit Union, and I think the Hymeny Community Council or community in there have also got one. So in total, there's 11 um, around the town. They're standalone, they're not rechargeable or anything like that. They're fully, fully operational. We check them once a week and uh, just to make sure everything is up and running. I suppose, Helen, each unit costs 2,000 euros approximately to buy, um, and it costs about 500 euros a year to maintain it. Anyone who wants to follow us on Facebook, it's Cree of Amslow CFR Group, or you can get it at CFR Cree on Twitter. We have, you can ring us or you can kind of through Facebook or Twitter uh, if you want to get involved with us.